So I'm doing Sega CD for you today, or Mega CD. So this one's been a bit of a long time coming, but I'm going to show you how to get the best results with your computer set for this. And of course, I'm going to go through some video settings and also tell you which BIOS files you need and the required game extension. So check this one out. Okay, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe if you like this video and be sure to hit notifications. It helps my channel out a lot. So let's get into this. What I'm going to recommend first, like I always do, is just go to RetroBat Shortcut and right click on it in Open File Location. We're going to just look at Batch UI and go to System List. Now, I've said this a few times before, but if you can't see this list just here, then follow my full RetroBat setup guide and that will help you out there. So for this, I'm gonna just find Sega CD. And just to make a note of it, Mega CD isn't listed here, it's literally just Sega CD. So once we click on Sega CD, we can see that we got free Libretro RetroWatch course just there, which are very good. But we want to look at the file extensions. Now, I've got my Final Fight game, which is literally the only Mega CD game I've got here. Uh, so I've got this in a .chd format, as well as my European BIOS file. So let's look at extensions. So this is going to take the obvious file extensions for Sega CD or Mega CD. We got .q, which is with .bin, obviously. We got .iso, .cso, .zip and .chd. So .chd is a very good file extension to have and a very good format to have. Uh, .chd pretty much reduces the size of a regular game and it compresses it so it's smaller. So what I'm going to do next is just start popping things into place. So if I go into my BIOS folder in RetroBat and just scroll down, and what I'm going to do is just put my BIOS into the BIOS folder. So RetroBat requires three BIOS CDs. If you just put one in place like I'm about to do, you will get a warning. But as long as you've got the game, which is of that region, like I have here, it'll be fine. So you need three BIOS files, one to represent European games, one to represent Japanese games, and one to represent American games. The only difference is with the files is the letter, and of course E is for European. So what I'm going to do next is just come out of here and go to the ROMs folder. And if I just go down and find Sega CD, and I'm going to just drag my Sega CD game, Final Fight CD, into that ROMs folder. Uh, so let's open up RetroBat. Okay, so the first thing you should see is the Sega CD picture in the background, uh, depending on which theme you're using. Um, so let's look at what we've got in here. So we've got Final Fight CD, which is a superb port. Uh, what I'm going to do first is just grab some artwork in a preview video for this one, if I can. And just go to scrape now, and that should take roughly a few seconds, depending on how many games you've got in your collection. And once this is finished scraping, we're going to need to go to game settings, and we need to go to update game list, like it's telling me to do so now. And really update, yes. So before we start this game, I just want to tell you a few things. If we go to view options menu, advanced system options, we can either use one of the cores here by RetroArch, which works perfectly fine. And we've also got two emulators here, which are literally the same thing, but we'll need to download those. But for this setup guide, I'm going to just use Auto, which is going to, by default, pick up Libretro Genesis Plus GX, which is a very capable core. And afterwards, I'm going to just show you how to get Kega Fusion up and running. Let's open this one up. And as I said a minute ago, because I've not got those other two BIOS files for Japan and America, you will get a warning up. However, if you've got the three files in place in that BIOS folder, you won't have this come up. So let's start this game.
Okay, so one of the things you would have noticed just there is the amount of pixelation on screen. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of this and clean things up. And also notice the music in the background for a final fight. If you know the game very well, you'll probably appreciate a soundtrack for this version. It's stereo and it's crystal clear. So let's look at settings on this. If we go to view options, advanced system options. Now shader set, I always like to put this one onto enhanced. Uh, others like that scan line effect, and that scan line effect is there, just like it is on most other Retrobat systems. So I'm going to just go for enhanced on this, and decorations is normally the part where I take off the decoration, but in fact, I'm going to keep this one on for now. I quite like this one. Uh, these old games, such as Sega CD games, they were really aimed at a 4 by 3 ratio, and they truly look better in this case. Whereas some systems can get away with it a little bit more with a 16 by 9 ratio, I think Mega CD or Sega CD looks better in 4 by 3 So I'm going to leave this one to auto for a change. And game aspect ratio, as we know by now, Retrobat will pick the next option above it, or below it rather. So it's going to automatically detect 4 by 3 Interscaling, I'm going to leave this one to on. That's really going to clean things up for us. Vertical sync, yes. Now this was the time of FMV games. So we got a lot of video footage in uh, Sega CD games. So to eliminate screen tear, just pop this one to yes. And under advanced settings, video settings, if you just go to emulated video signal, uh, for geeks out there, and I'm one of those myself, we've got an option here to actually emulate the picture quality of this. So we got RGB, S-Video, Composite, Monochrome. Uh, so that's up to you to play around. So we can get some interesting results through uh, some of these just here. So let's back out of here. I'm going to go to visual rendering. And on bilinear filtering, I'm going to put this one to on. And that's really going to sharpen things up for us. So let's go back into the game and check this one out. And like I say, it's missing BIOS files because I've already got that one BIOS file installed. Let me just show the difference between the 4x3 with the bezel on there, or rather decoration, and the 16x9 option. So first of all, I'm going to go to decorations and turn this one to none, because if we have decorations on with aspect ratio 16x9, a lot of game images can be taken away. So let's try this one again with 16x9 enabled. Oh, I love that early 90s soft rock music. Very similar to music you would get on the Panasonic 3 do Very good stuff. So that's it for the core side of Sega CD. But like I said, we can also download a separate emulator for this. If we go to emulator, and I'm going to go for Mega CD because I'm in Britain and that's more nostalgic. Or if you're anywhere else where it's called Sega CD, then just do the same process I'm about to do, but use the Sega CD option. So I'm going to just open up this game with Kega Fusion selected, and we're going to install this. So once you've got this installed, to get your BIOS in place, we're going to need to put them somewhere, which it's going to ask you, well, little window's going to pop up. So to do this, you're just going to go to Options. Uh, first of all, under Country, just set it to wherever you are in the world. I'm in Europe. If you're in the States, then just select USA. 
And under set configuration, you've got a tab of four different Sega consoles here. Of course, we're going to want to select Sega CD for this. And this is the part where we need to put our BIOS file. So under European, I've just gone into my Retrobat BIOS folder and I've selected my European BIOS. And once that's done, apply, OK. And then just close out of it and reboot your game. And your game, once loaded in the .bin or .q file extension, it should load up. So that's it for my Sega CD or Mega CD setup guide today for Retrobat. If you like what you see today, be sure to check out my Retrobat playlist. I've got many different tutorials right now. And also hit notifications. It helps my channel out a lot. And it also helps you get a news video since I upload them. And of course, I've subscribed. I'm also on many social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.